Good morning, July 27th. Andrew Reed here. So we have stock markets up today, as Jim Cramer of all people predicted and was correct. So much for the Cramer effect. Uh, this being led by the NASDAQ, which is definitely leading the way by a considerable margin. So what does that mean for us? Uh, I mean, today we have the United States Fed, which is going to hopefully give some clarity as to whether they feel their, uh, their rate hikes are working on inflation. Have we reached the peak? Have we practically caused a recession? So practically or not, we're going to find out tomorrow, July 28th, um, when we get the uh, Q2 second quarter GDP reports from the, U uh, from the U.S. Fed. So that's going to let us know if we have a second quarter of negative GDP growth, then we are technically in a recession, even though it would take the United States somewhere from four to 14 months to announce such a recession. We can just look at the numbers and we will find out tomorrow as to whether we're actually in a recession or not, um, at least in the United States. And really that's the major player here. It doesn't really matter if Canada per se is in one or not. We're just literally going to follow in the footsteps of the United States. So those are the, the big things we're looking at today. How does the Fed report those rate hikes um, as far as what they're planning? So the market has it priced in pretty negatively at, uh, you know, we're right now expecting a 0.75 rate hike and then the Fed's going to take a nice vacation in August and then we're going to be looking at what are they going to do September, November. So if they feel their work is done here, they could pull a U-turn. If they pull a U-turn, uh, either reduce or stop with these rate hikes or at least keep them down to a reasonable level, then uh, could very well be we see a market rally, um, which we're, we're seeing right now. So maybe other people have this information um, ahead of the game. I wouldn't be shocked. And if that's the case, it would probably be on an institutional level. And that's why we're seeing um, these gains ahead of these announcements. Anyways, uh, best of luck to you when you're investing in trading and may the market force be with you.